What's up guys? Today I am in Costa Rica. I'm here for the workshop, but only for tomorrow. So today we're going uh, here with my brother Mike. Yeah, where are we going? We're going to see some La Paz Waterfall <laughs> Gardens. <laughs> Nice place to visit, some uh, sun protector, and it's always really, really nice. And thanks to Rodrigo to bring us um, some nice place for some sightseeing and see a little bit more of Costa Rica. Amazing butterflies. Let's take a look outside. This must be amazing. I must say that I'm really impressed with Costa Rica. A lot of diversity and uh, so green, so nature. I feel so inspired. This is just amazing. Look to the this forest. Wow. Man, I really am thankful and feel really blessed to be here. Thank you so much to Rodrigo and also Carolina for inviting me to be here. Uh, I will be doing a workshop tomorrow at uh, Rodrigo's store, Aquamundo. Man, I, I feel so inspired right now just to start doing something. And this is such a beautiful country. And the nature, wow. So just look, look at these birds. Can you see it? We have a lot to walk today. So nice. Five different waterfalls. Yeah? yeah? Good. Yes, guys, today we have a lot to walk. Um, this place is uh, really amazing. Looking good, Mike. For you? I will just record it. Okay. Thank you. Take a look, man. Check the picture.
video I really I really hope that the video can capture uh, the feeling of nature that we have around here just amazing take a look It's amazing guys. Amazing. Man, to be honest, I never expected something like this. I wouldn't expect something like this. To be honest. Wow. Just wow. Unbelievable. Amazing. Let's go!
it's uh, yeah breathtaking we are mind blowing everyone should That's experience amazing. this this is uh extremely beautiful huh? it's 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 so a lot of things for tomorrow right yes this is just crazy amazing costa rica unbelievable i can't stop to say wow look 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 Whoa. oh it's coming from my head let's see if you guys can see it yeah so let's move the camera to the front and show it to you so this is what i'm talking about Slowly, it's a little bit slippery. Water coming from everywhere. So let's take a look at the waterfall. A little bit wet it's good it's still uh, hot but it's uh it's quite nice just to get us a little bit of moist it's like raining and raining a lot as you can see but uh, this is normal in Costa Rica but man uh, what a wonderful place uh, I'm not rising day so yeah yeah <laughs> It looks like rain. So, shall we go? Yesterday, we had an amazing event here. Me and Mike Sensky, we escaped two tanks. Those guys were very, very lucky because instead of one workshop, they have two in one. So, both we escaped uh, 120 centimeters tank and um, I am really 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 sorry but we don't didn't have the time just to record parts of the event because um, that we were talking uh, in exchange so it means that when one uh, was talking the other one was doing something and then it was quite difficult because the space was a very very limit inside of the store we had um, around 45 persons attending to the event and um, the space was really limited because we had the, the artscape around and it was very difficult to record. So I would like to show you uh, how the tanks look like right now. We, uh, 
just cover them um, just to keep the moist inside. Um, now what we are going to do is just to take the foil, the paper foil, and also the plastic uh, transparent foil that keep the moist and then flood the tank. Uh, Saw the filter, CO2 system, but let's take a look to the both layouts um, and I will explain uh, what we have used and the plants and everything. So uh, this is how the tanks look now. Uh, we cover with uh, paper foil uh, and then we spray a lot of water on it just to keep the moist inside because um, we had more or less uh, four hours uh, maybe four hours and a half of workshop yesterday and um, since it was a lot of people they would like to take some pictures and also um, just talk with us uh, take some doubts uh, about their tanks and um, then we become really really late and there is no chance to uh, flood the tanks so what now we are going to do is just take the plastic foil, take the paper and I will show to you the tanks in detail before we flood them. Now that the plastic foil and paper, we just take this out, the tank is ready to flood. So let's take a look uh, to the details before, just to avoid uh, when we flood, just to get the water a little bit cloudy. So in this way you can see the, all the details. Uh, this is this tank, I have used petrified wood. This is the rocks. Also, this is local wood. Um, there is two pieces inside of this tank. This is uh, 120 by 60 deep by uh, 50 centimeters high. Uh, all local woods and uh, local rocks. And uh, in this tank, uh, I tried to make something with some uh, stem plants and a little bit volume on the back and, uh, and then just a little bit of carpet. Um, try to make this tank easy to maintain but at the same time showing different techniques uh, with some foreground as you can see even around the rocks there is a little bit of uh, foreground plants like Monte Carlo, Eleocaris minima. So the when they start to spread I just want uh, a slight touch of green. I don't want the full carpet on this tank. Then we have a lot of Pusophilandras, uh, Alternantera Renikimini over here, Alternantera Renikimini, there's Limnophila Aromatica, some Cryptocorin Green. Uh, the foreground uh, is a mix with uh, Eleocaris, Liliopsis, Monte Carlo. In some spots, just to give a little bit of detail, is also some uh, Pogostemon Alferi. Uh, as you see, also a little bit of moss was placed on the wood. I don't want all the wood covered with moss, but just a little bit on it just to make the contrast. This is the other side. There is still some reflex right now. Also, I have used over here some Cryptocorine um, Balansai, Hutala Green, Ludwigia Mini Super Red. So just a, a little bit of volume on this area and then just to for the plants even on between the wood too just for the plants give a little bit of volume and um, looking to the front you don't see this empty area on the center so with the volume we only see that wood pointing out on the sides and getting out of the tank. Uh, We took more or less four hours yesterday doing the, um, both tanks, me and Mike Sansky from ADG. Different styles, also to fix the wood to the rocks and also to the bottom to avoid using plastic zip ties or any uh, coated wire. We have used expansion foam. So um, I am expecting no surprise when we flood it because it's still well fixed and um, between rocks and wood and also I didn't want to use so many rocks on the on the tank so this is the look I will show to you uh, later on as soon we flood the tank and uh, let's take care of Mike's tank right now 
while this one is um, uh, flooded with water. Now let's take a look to Mike's tank. It's the same measure as mine. It's 120, 60, 50. And uh, yes, used also local wood. It's a little bit different from my tank the layout. And the idea of having the both over here is just to make a, uh, different layouts using also different plants. However, uh, if you try to, or if you know how the things work in uh, Central America or South America, we don't have too much access to plants as we have in Europe. So it was quite difficult and challenging to uh, make escape with um, all the plants that we are used to work. And uh, we had uh, just a specific list of plants uh, that were available. And uh, in this way, we had to adapt more or less layout according to the, the availability. And um, I think the end result was quite nice. Uh, of course, if we had a little bit more of choice, we would use different plants in both tanks. For example, on my tank, I, I would just uh, miss the microsorums, uh, small, the petit, between uh, the wood just to give more texture even some bobities but man it is what it is so we need to work with um, the plants that they have available in the store and also they are sold in the central america and this is a result so this is uh, mike's tank as i was explaining um we had a really big big bobities but the leaves were so big so Mike decided just to trim them all. So the new leaves will come very, very short. Uh, there is also a lot of bulbitis. Uh, there is some fissidens moss. Um, as you see, the Busphalandras, different species over here. Also some stem plants, Ludovigia mini super red. Some Limnophila aromatica, Anubias barteri. Uh, one he have used more, let me check. Uh, I think it's just that. As you can see here, it is the, the expansion foam we have used just to fix the wood to the rocks. So this allows you to make the structure over the rocks. And then when we place the expansion foam in between, they will expand. They will also attach and glue to the rocks and wood. And there is no need to use super glue or plastic zip ties. It all down all the weight underneath and, um, the bottom of the tank and we just can just flood it. So when we scape it for the first time and make it hard scape, make the things uh, really, really easy. So now I am flooding this tank and afterwards this one and then I will just make a video of both tanks because when we have water inside we have also a different perspective because some of this wood that is outside when we see it from the front of the tank will not be that visible. So we go only have the panoramic vision of the entire tank. So let's see if I can show you the both tanks side by side. This event was sponsored by uh, SICAM Costa Rica. A big thanks to Carolina and also to Jeremy and of course to um, our host from Aquamundo, Rodrigo is there. Without him, nothing of this would be possible. So we made a special event. This event uh, was uh, in our expectations much better than we thought because um, we are traveling and even making a dual aquascape event could go really, really wrong or can work really, really well. And uh, I know Mike Sensky uh, for so many years and uh, it was really good just to escape with him or share the stage with him. Um, we are talking about so many different subjects, uh, about artscape, about depth, uh, about how to place the things inside of the tank also how to plant, how we can use different species of plant and blend them together. I think it was very, very successful event 
I would like to thank again to Sikkim Costa Rica, Aquamundo. Uh, again, I think it's not enough even to uh, show my appreciation for Rodrigo, Carolina and Jeremy for the invitation. Without them, this nothing would be possible. And I will come back with the tanks full of water and uh, see you in a minute.
it guys, it's time to return to Portugal. Uh, it was much fun being here in Costa Rica. We have a really amazing time. Thank you Carolina, thank you Jeremy from SICAM Co uh, Costa Rica and also to Rodrigo from Acomundo for the invitation to be here and do the workshop with Mike Sansky. So uh, if you guys are not subscribed to my channel yet, so please subscribe and it also just place in the comments below and see you in the next video. Take care, bye bye. bye, -bye.